In 2011, South Sudan attained independence from the north mm -hmm. after more than two decades of bloody civil war, which took the lives of almost two million people. With it came a lot of optimism among the international community and peace-loving people. The diaspora returned to the newborn country to rebuild it. But in 2013, a civil war started which saw again thousands of lives being lost and millions displaced. There are thousands of internally displaced people, IDPs, staying at various camps within the country. One of those camps for the IDPs is at Don Bosco Gumbo, in the outskirts of Juba, the capital of South Sudan. Dan Bosco IDP camp began in the year 2013, December, when the civil war broke out in the country. There are thousands of people have come to our, our compound. We never intended to start a camp, but uh, one tribe came and they remained with us more than four to five months. That is how the camp began, and now we are having more than 16 tribes are existing in this compound. This camp we started 2014 onwards. In December 13, they came and they, remain, they were remaining uh, in our parish church and also they were remaining in the secondary school for almost two months. Then later on schools have to begin in the month of February we have to start. So that is a time we thought of having, having a small camp and this is how the camp began. This land belongs to Catholic Church, given to given by Catholic Church to Salish Don Bosco. It is almost 1.8 kilometers by 1.8 kilometers. When we started, we had almost 2,900 people. We began, and later it has extended to 3,000. Now it has gone more than 6,000 people who are residing here. But there are other tribes who are staying outside because of uh, some conflicts. But still, we, they are part of Don Bosco and we still we support them. We support them through education, first of all. And second thing, monthly ratio, we give them maize, rice, beans, oil, and uh, other provisions that we give them every month. Each household has got a card with the head of the household. And they come two times in a month to receive their uh, uh, monthly ratio. There are more people who are coming into the camp. And recently, some few families, around 10 families, they have come in. But you know, our, uh, our compound is not big enough to even to accommodate many more people. First of all, we are having a, a simple agricultural project, which is run by them and for themselves. And the food that we give them is complementary, what they are cultivating. And we provide them seeds and they, they do cultivation. If you look around the house gardens which are there, they are the ones who are cultivating. They grow in it okra, maize and uh, some herbal things they grow in it and they, they, are, they are happy with it. But whereas we, we buy the food from outside. Because of uh, some donors we are able to get and especially these are the foreign donors that, who are helping us. Even to get a local donations is very difficult. The donation that we get is not sufficient. We need more hands uh, to sustain this work. Mothers, uh, the pregnant ladies, they need a little more care. And the children who are under malnourished, they need a little more care. And the sickly people, they need a little more care. And we are also having a, a catering project for the IDPs. And some saloon sections are there for them. They go to Juba market and they go to Sharikat and they are the ones who are doing these projects. And we also have started a tailoring project. Many people are interested in it and they, we want to extend, but we don't have the financial support and we need it. And in return, they will become a bit, self, a bit more self-sufficient and they will be able to stand on their feet. Education sector, we have got both morning one section and afternoon one section. Morning section, they wear blue dress and afternoon section, they wear pink dress. Morning, we are having more than 1,600 and afternoon, we are having almost 1,400. Almost 3,000 children are coming to study with us. And we are having 54 uh, teachers 
were educating them. And I'm happy to bring to our attention that recently during the mock exam for the primary eight children, our children who are from the Danbosco camp became number one and number third, number fourth. So this is the biggest achievement that we have received. In the camp we have got uh, one small uh, dispensary. Some NGOs they come to treat once in a month they come. When it is an emergency we have no facility we have to go to Juba which is almost six kilometers we have to go to the hospital. Lacking thing at present in our camp is the medical sector. If given chance we would like to have a permanent doctor and permanent nurse in the camp so that they can provide the facilities a little more uh, better way for the, for the people who are existing in the camp. In the camp there is security good enough I would say. In the beginning there were some incidents, some people have been killed in the, within the camp but we have got established leaderships in the camp. There are more than 20 leaders who are working with, uh, with us, with the Don Bosco management and any problem is there, we sit together, we try to resolve it. But yet there are some difficulties which are existing like tribal issues which are still there. We are trying to solve in one way or the other. But within the camp we always tell them this is a church compound, this is a Don Bosco compound. We don't want to see conflicts, we don't want to see fighting within the camp. People of goodwill are always welcome. First of all we need financial help, we also need persons to come and share our joys and sufferings by witnessing our lives and so on. Given the help financially, we could bring up their standard. As you could see, their houses are uh, plastic sheets. And when it rains, there is no better place for them to go. They are, most of them they get sick because of the, the situation which is existing. So we are asking our friends of goodwill, our friends who are helping and who are going to help, we are asking you to support us in whatever way you can. And you are always welcome to see at the camp. For future, for them, we would like to buy a piece of land wherein each house gets a good proper house, a mud house, a properly set up house and also a small garden for them so that they are self-sufficient. $1,000 would be good enough to buy a plot of land and to build a small house for themselves. When I say a house is a mud house with grass roof so that they can at least have a better life. What we are investing is worthwhile because you will see the fruits the fruits will bring peace and serenity in this country. A stable family can bring peace because most of the families are scattered, most of the families are broken. Only when the family comes together and stays together, there will be peace and serenity. Asking our donors, support us and help us in whatever, we, whatever way you can so that these people can stay together as a family and their future is assured.